you know guys sometimes I get tired I get tired of some of the people in this J4K community the ones who really push that they are J4K and then we see them putting up all of these different narratives that they create that their subscribers and followers actually listen to. I get so tired of it because it's like they don't understand the effect that this has on Kanika Jenkins' living family members. Her mother, her sister, her brother, her grandmother, her cousins. And her friends. They don't understand that people really loved Kanika Jenkins. No matter what we feel about the type of lifestyle she may have lived, that doesn't matter now. The way she died, it doesn't even matter. The fact remains is, is that she's no longer with us. And it really and truly hurts me to see that we have grown folk in the African American community that claim to want justice for this young lady and they continue to put out of all put out all of this negative stuff I mean I don't get it guys I don't get it what is it about this case that draws in my opinion some of the people who do this type of stuff we've noticed that they deal with personal issues some of them are dealing with um, mental conditions mental disorders we see it being displayed daily over YouTube some of them have this narcissistic uh, personality disorder where they think they are above everybody else and because they feel that way about themselves they believe that their followers should bow down to them and listen and believe everything that they say the narratives that are being spoken of coming from two particular channel holders right now on YouTube I'm I'm embarrassed to say the least I'm hurt and I don't understand I'm confused because these are not children that we're speaking of these are middle-aged individuals that we're speaking of middle-aged individuals that you would think no better than to even speak ill of the dead let alone creating narrative after narrative after narrative the way they do I'm really confused 
I'm hurt. Like seriously. You know, this community, if we are not careful, this community, the J4K community, as much as we want to continue to be a part of it because we really care about what happened to her and we want justice for us, for her at some point we are going to have to let this case go because of what surrounds the case. Not because of all of the people, the YouTubers who are uh, putting out good content, um, real facts, and the truth, but because of the ones who create a storyline that is filled with lies, negativity. Um, it's filled with uh, disrespect for the family. It's filled with disrespect even for Kanika. The way they speak about her. My God in Zion. I wouldn't speak that way about a living, breathing person, let alone someone who is no longer with us, someone who cannot speak for themselves. But yet, these are the same people who claim they want justice for her. At some point, we are going to have to let this case go because it's a never ending battle with these people. We know the truth. In our hearts, we know the truth. Sure, we don't know how Kanika met her demise, what happened in that moment. But we have enough information that tells us what happened before she met her de demise. Okay? So, in other words, we have the just we know the gist of the case and we're going to have to let it go guys because it's going to consume us and i really truly believe that if we don't let go our sanity will be compromised because we are dealing with people who let the devil use them it is what it is it's, this is what I'm seeing these people are They are professional liars. They are storytellers. They have deceptive hearts. The things that they are doing on their channels, believe it or not guys, I believe is intentional. 
and I'm going to share with you why I believe that it is intentional. Why I believe that they intentionally are seeking out to muddy this case the way they, they are doing it. And that reason is, I believe that it all goes back to Kanika's mom. You see, she still remains. And I'm going to say it, I don't care who gets mad at me. Because you see, I'm a part of this community. I'm talking about the African American community. And for the most part, no matter what state you live in, no matter what state you live in, African American people, the majority of them, they all think the same. So what do I mean when I say that? This goes back to the conditioning of the mind of the African American person. And y'all know, sometimes I like to get into history. And so I'll share a little bit of knowledge with you guys about certain issues that I'm into at the time. But we all know that story of Willie Lynch and how he used a simple little tactic to get black people not to love themselves, <laughs> to stay at odds with themselves for hundreds of years after slavery would be over. So, regardless of what people might think, because the African American person was conditioned that way, that behavior was taught, they were conditioned under extreme circumstances, beaten with whips, burnt, raped, however that slave master chose to discipline them in order to get them to feel that way about themselves is what that slave master did, okay? It goes back to the crab in the barrel theory where you have black people that don't want to see other black people come up. Now, for the average intelligence person we know just I'm talking I'm just given just basic intelligence we know that you could never put a dollar amount on a life but for the petty people and the ones who are not considering that Teresa Moss Martin lost her child. Her child is never coming back. She'll never be able to make videos with her little girl like she once did. Talk to her little girl, call her on the phone, comb her hair, you know, pass her hand in her face and tell her how beautiful she is. Tell her mommy love you. And she'll never hear those words coming from her child. 
Kanika lost out on her life. She was only 19 years old. No children. So, in losing her life, she also lost the ability to create life. And in doing so, that deprives her mother of grandchildren that she might have had. So, we think, okay, it's just Kanika Jenkins, she's gone. But it's so, so much more after that, that Teresa Martin and the, and the Jenkins and Martin family have been deprived of. But for the petty people, all they see is a dollar sign. So, they speak ill of Teresa Martin. As they say today, instead of praying for her, P-R-A-Y-I-N-G, they are praying P-R-E-Y-I-N-G for her downfall. They don't want to see Teresa Martin awarded not one red cent due to the loss of her her daughter. They don't want to see that. They would wish that that lawsuit would go away and this would be it because they're crabs in a barrel guys it's so hurtful to see that we still live with that type of mindset I'm sorry you guys know how I do it sometimes I get weary and especially during the wee hours of the morning when I feel like God is calling me to send a message or he's asking me to, you know, just to release. I do not hinder the Holy Spirit. So for whom this message may be for, please pay attention because You may just be coming into this J4K community or you've been here all the while and you're straddling. And when I say you're straddling, I mean you're watching the content creators who have put out to the best of their ability the facts about the J4K community case but you're still crossing over and you're going to listen to lend your ear to these people who create storylines, narratives. And you know these things are not true, but you're drawn to them for some reason. I say to you, please be careful. because these people are carrying spirits on them and these demonic spirits are capable of jumping off onto other people especially if you're not covered so I'm not telling you not to watch them telling you to make sure that you're covered and uh, beware of the things that they're doing beware these people are letting the devil use them in this way to attack Kanika Jenkins Teresa Martin and the rest of the family and it's so so sad y'all I just 
sometimes it just makes me want to cry because one would never think that people are capable of being so deceptive and not caring, no compassion. That's all. I can only imagine how it feels to live inside a body like that. A body that's filled with nothing but negativity. A body that's filled with the ability to hurt others with and don't care that they did it. They hurt others intentionally. That must be miserable. See, only empty vessels are able to behave in that manner. I'm going to say that again. Only empty vessels are able to behave in that manner. And with that, guys, have a good night. Bye.